Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to BSS Online Education. I am Mohammed Imtiajali, your physics teacher. Today I am going to explain chapter 1 exercise of the mathematical problems. And the first question is about convert the following. Look at the question 4a. 1500 meter to kilometer so this math is about the unit conversion before converting the units we have to know the relation between kilometer and meter and we already know that one kilometer for 1000 meter and when we are converting from a smaller unit to bigger unit we have to use the sub multiples that means we have to divide it so look at the solution First, we have to write it 1500 meter, then we have to divide it by 1000 and the unit will be turned into kilometer and we have to give a side note, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and after dividing it, we will get the answer 1.5 kilometer. Now look at question number C, 10 cubic centimeter to cubic decimeter, here also we have to know the relation between cubic decimeter and cubic centimeter. We already know that 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeter. And when we are converting from a smaller to bigger units, we have to use the sub multiples. That means we have to divide it. So look at the solution. First we have to write 10 cubic centimeter. Then we have to divide it by 1000 and the unit will be turned into cubic decimeter. We have to give a side note, 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeter and after dividing we will get the answer 0 0.01 cubic decimeter. Now we are going for question number 5, calculate the areas for the following measurements. Look at the first question, number A, land measuring 100 meter multiplied by 57 meter. So, to solve these types of maths, we have to know the relation or we have to know the formula of area. Area is equal to length multiplied by breadth. In this question, length and breadth already given. Just we have to multiply and then we can get the area of the land. So look at the solution. Area of land is equal to 100 meter multiplied by 57 meter. And then we will get the answer 5700 a square meter why it is a square meter because when we are multiplying meter into meter it will turn into a square meter and already we know the area of the assignment of area is a square meter now look at question number seven what is the capacity of a water tank that measures five meter multiply by five meter multiply by three meter and the second part is about how many liters of water will this tank hold so in this question we have to know about capacity what is capacity capacity means volume and in volume it has three dimensions length breadth and height in this question length breadth and height already given five uh, five meter multiply by five meter multiply by three meter just simply if we will multiply we will get the capacity of the water tank look at the solution the capacity of a water tank is equal to 5 meter multiply by 5 meter multiply by 3 meter and after multiplying the answer will be 75 cubic meter why it is cubic meter because when we are multiplying meter in three times it will be turned into cubic meter and already we know that volume is three-dimensional and its SI unit is cubic meter. Look at the second part. How many liters of water will this tank hold? So to converting from cubic meter to liter, we have to know the relation between liter and cubic meter. We know one cubic meter is equal to 1000 liter. So simply if we will multiply, then we will get the answer. And therefore 75 cubic meter is equal to 75 multiplied by 1000 and the answer will be 75,000 liter so the tank will hold 75,000 liters of water 
Now, I'm going for question number nine. Look at the question. A stone is immersed in water in a measuring cylinder. The water level rose from 55 cubic centimeter to 87 cubic centimeter. What is the volume of the stone? In this question, it has two volume. The first volume is about 55 cubic centimeter and after immersing the stone, the water level rose and we got the new volume that is 87 cubic centimeter. So first of all, what we have to do, look at the solution. Here V1 is equal to 55 cubic centimeter. This is the first volume and after immersing the stone inside the measuring cylinder we got the new volume v2 is equal to 87 cubic centimeter this one will be very much easy for you if you look at the picture this is the first volume before immersing the stone inside the measuring cylinder and after immersing the stone inside the measuring cylinder we got the new volume that is v2 so how we can find out the volume of the stone just we have to subtract so look at here volume of the stone is equal to v2 minus v1 why v2 minus v1 because v2 is much greater than v1 because after immersing the stone the water level got a new volume which is greater than v1 now we have to put the values 87 minus 55 and after subtracting we'll get the answer 32 cubic centimeter that's all for today Thank you.